Hi guys, so today I'll be working on the front porch and I'll turn the camera around and show you what it looks like. Brace yourselves, I haven't done anything with it this spring, so it's in need of attention. Thankfully we did get the porch swing up. Uh, John had helped me with that one day. And over here where my water fountain is, I think I'll be able to use it again this year. Um, I saw a section of it had broken out. I'll show you guys in the front here. I'm not sure what happened, but it's lying on the floor here. And I think I may be able to glue it back in and it's not really affecting, like it's not leaking or anything. So I'll definitely be able to use it, I think, as long as everything else works. The pergola is definitely in need of getting a fresh coat of paint. Not sure that I'll actually get around to doing that, but maybe later this summer. And here I need to add some flowers and then basically just clean things up, fix some pots and just make it pretty on here. So join me as I work out here and enjoy. I'm gonna work on my sink first. That way, since I'm working out here anyway, I'll be able to hear the sound of water as I work. And years ago, I made a video on this water feature always hesitate to send people to some of those older videos, but I guess if you're interested in seeing how I actually did this, uh, check out the video. I'll link it down below in the description box. So I soon discovered as I was filling my basin that that front part that is broken out is going to pose a problem. This thing is leaking. I guess it's where the water goes down the drain. It actually can seep out in between the layers of porcelain and it comes out of the front, so it's not going to work. I think what I'll try to do is find a piece of pipe that I can stick into my drain that is really tight fitting and maybe caulk it a bit. Cross my fingers, this will work because I really like my little basin. For either side of the fountain here, I want a few trees, and I have one here that most of it died away this winter. Um, I think it's a lilac maybe that I had dug out just for my own lilacs several years ago, and obviously they probably don't have the life in a planter that they would, you know, in the ground. So I'll just switch that out with, I have a pretty tall burning bush that I think I'm going to put in here because I do want something with a little bit of height. And then on the other side, I may end up just adding a pot of ferns maybe, some that are you know, growing in my flower beds. So recently I was looking through old pictures and I really liked the one picture I saw of our porch. This would have been years ago. 
I used to have an old door kind of dividing the section where the porch swing is from the pergola section and I think I still have that door so I'm thinking of putting it up again I know at the time I just kind of got tired of it I wanted a new you know more open look but again I really like to see it so I'll try that for the summer I can always remove it then for another year if I you know don't like it to use this sign again I know I use it every year but I love it it says home but the home is so faded I'm gonna take it out to MB and see if she would paint it for me like repaint it redone this tin years ago using contact paper uh, wrap that around the tin and now I'm I still like that look but I think I'm gonna go with my favorite wallpaper the one with the green leaves on it you've seen it before I still have a couple of pieces left over of that I'm gonna wrap that around the can I think it'll look better in the space that it's going to be in than what was on here I realize this tin will probably rust eventually but I'm gonna use it until it wears out I guess
So this year I have something a bit new for my porch swing. You guys know how I always use my green and white different designed pillows. Still love those, but I have something really, really exciting to add to them. I'm so excited to be working with a local artist. In fact, she's a good friend of Marlene's. Her name is Cheryl. I've talked a bit about her before on my channel, and I'll make sure to link her Etsy shop down below, but she has some tremendous talent. She's really good at drawing plants and flowers and other things too, but we decided to create a pillow using her herb drawings. In my mind, I envisioned a pure white pillowcase with these green herbs. And then, of course, the name of the herb along the bottom. They turned out perfect. It's exactly how I had envisioned. So obviously I can't disturb something as cute as this, right? So I'll wait until later to set up my pillows. I wonder what you guys think. Aren't they pretty? There's three different designs. At this point, I'm just using two of them on my porch swing, but I'll make sure to show you the others. And then we also have a fourth one with all three designs on one pillow. And it's also really, really pretty. I think they turned out great. I'm really excited about them. They are, of course, available on the Etsy shop. So I didn't mention this earlier, but the door I ended up using is not the exact same one that I used years ago. I do still have that one, but that one is extra tall, like it's really heavy and kind of clumsy to carry around and some of the glass panes were broken out so I actually ended up using this one. But the one thing that kind of bothered me was these openings here and I'm not sure that I'll do anything with the top one but this one I think I may have a solution for. Ended up cutting a few pieces of wood, uh, just thin uh, plywood uh, into rectangles, uh, drilled a hole um, in the center here for my old knobs that I have. There's some that I had collected from old doors previously, and I drilled some holes in the corners uh, to fasten them. I'm gonna see how that looks. Um, I know it's not like a fancy metal plate like some of these old doors had, but um, at least it'll cover that hole. I'm not quite sure which knob I'm gonna use for this side. This is of course the side that everybody's gonna see uh, from in, in the house. I have the white one or the dark one. Not sure, I'll decide that once I have the other plate on. The next thing I'm gonna do is paint some of these openings, like the top hole, I'm gonna paint that white along with the edge, like where the latch was. I think that'll also look better if I paint that white. Being this door is kinda old, it's not stark white anymore. So I went ahead and mixed some paint together, like a cream color along with the white. I'll have to try to match my color here. It's not perfect, but I think it'll work. I have an exciting announcement regarding candles. Many of you have been asking about the fresh cut grass. It's our normal summer scent that we carry. And finally, it's available. That one along with the citrus agave are the two scents we have for this summer. Uh, they come in the cutest little metal buckets. Aren't they adorable? I think they're so fitting for an outdoor space. Not that they wouldn't look cute inside too, but being that we're in the summer season, it's so fitting. I'm burning the fresh cut grass. It just smells divine. It's one of my favorite summer scents.
I wish you all could join me here on my porch somehow, but I guess this is the best I can do is just through video form, but make sure to create a space for yourself if you enjoy being on the outside like I do. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. As you can see, things are fairly shabby around here and in need of a fresh coat of paint, but that didn't stop me from fixing it up anyway. And you know, often once it's fixed up and uh, filled with things that you love, you really don't notice those things, or at least I don't. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And again, if you're at all in need of a pretty pillow with actual artwork on it, make sure to check these out. Um, I'm pretty excited about them. I love how they look on my porch swing. Make sure to check out Cheryl's Etsy shop and her Instagram. I'll put all of those links down below in the description box. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.